I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Footballer magazine. Today I'm joined by Tom Walker from the Adelaide University Football Club in Division 1, and he's going to do our weekly roundup. So we'll just go through the results from the weekend. Port District defeated Goodwood Saints by 10 points. Teetree Gully defeated Henley by 8 goals. Salisbury North had a close win over Unley Mercedes Jets by 2 points. Prince Alfred Old Collegians defeated Ross Trevor by 31 points. And Adelaide University had a close win over Payne and Nord Union by four points. Obviously a really pleasing result. Yeah, no, it's, it's great to, uh, to get up and uh, pretty tight game. Uh, we've beat them twice this year. They're, they're sitting at the top of the ladder. Um, you know, we're sort of fifth and each, each win's really important for our club. So to, to win by four points away on a boggy deck was, was great. Payne have been a pretty strong side for a while and... Seeing as you're lower on the ladder, it must be really give you a lot of confidence knowing you can beat the top side. Yeah, definitely. I think um, we've had a couple of good wins against Paynham and um, uh, we've beaten Tea Tree Gully and also Ross Trevor. So the team's got a lot of confidence. Um, pointy end of the season, you know, we're hoping to get a few more big wins uh, and finish sort of uh, in the top five. It's obviously a pretty low scoring game yesterday. How did you see the game play out? Um, we are three goals up at quarter time and then... Um, I think we're three goals up at halftime as well, and they sort of rallied uh, really late. It was quite, uh, there wasn't any rain, but the ground was pretty boggy, so um, they came back pretty strong, pretty hard. So uh, I think they kicked the last two goals within the last five or ten minutes, so we were sort of just bunkering down, and um, we managed to scrape away with a win, which was really pleasing. Who were some of your better performers on the day? Uh, in the middle, I think we won it. So Seb Painter and uh, Michael Scrubber Taylor, they were really influential. Uh, the back six were, were really good. Uh, Brett Simpson on the wing and half forward was great. Um, and Simon Charlie um, and also our ruckman Darcy Bateman had good performances. OK, we'll just move on to next week's games. If I can just get a tip on each game. We've got Goodwood Saints taking on Prince Alfred Old Collegians. Who do you think will win that one? Uh, I think Princes will get, get home pretty comfortably in that one. Uh, Henley take on Port District out at Henley. Uh, it be a tough one. Um... I'm going to go with Port Districts. Only Mercedes Jets take on Ross Trevor Old Collegians. I'd probably Ross Trevor by five or six goals. Paynham Norwood Union take on Tea Tree Gully. Obviously got a good look at Paynham again yesterday. Yeah, they'll be trying to bounce back. Um, Tea Tree Gully had a good win, I think. So, um, yeah, I'd probably go with Paynham. And you head home to University Oval to take on Salisbury North. Obviously be hoping to get another win on the board. Yeah, we, we lost to them last time. Uh, we only lost one game at home. Really important game, so um, yeah, we'll be hoping for a win. What do you think you need to improve on from last time when you played them? What do you think you need to get the win this weekend? Uh, last time we played them, we kicked the first couple of goals and then I think probably just a mental lapse for 15 or 20 minutes and, and they snuck away with a pretty comfortable win in the end. So, look, it's just a four-quarter performance. Um, you know, we've had a few injuries, as all teams do, but... Um, We've got a couple of guys coming back after the bye, so we'd be pretty, pretty confident um, that on a one-on-one basis, you know, if we give 100% effort, we'll um, get across the line. Was there anything from yesterday, even though you got the win, that you still think you need to work on and improve on this week at training? Definitely. Um, you know, there's always room for improvement. I think it, probably we conceded a couple of goals late, which we wouldn't have liked. Um, maybe if we can get a few more rotations in the midfield to, to help our guys out when they're a bit tired. Um, kicking goals as well. You know, it was a low-scoring game yesterday, but if we can, you know, get a few more set shots, that'd be great because they're really important. Okay, thank you, Tom. I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Footballer magazine. Today, I've been joined by Tom Walker from the Adelaide University Football Club in Division One, and he's done our weekly roundup.